Bob Vanderplatz is uh, is the head of uh, uh, Iowa's family, and it's a it's a it's a hateful group. I guess I, that's the only thing I could call it. But what he's trying to do is to get everybody who is running for president on the Republican ticket to sign a pledge, and this is what his pledge is. Uh, he wants to sign to the vows. Uh, he want they want them to sign these vows, and they will not get his. Uh, support or his group's support or endorsement unless they sign on to this. And Vander Plaats has run for governor before, uh, and he helped Mike Huckabee uh, a great deal uh, at that time. But listen to this. So they have to sign on to the leader's vows. They will be agreeing to the following constru constructs. Homosexuality is a choice. The preface to the pledge reads, social protections have been evaporating as we have collectively debased the currency of marriage. In complete absence of empirical proof that non-heterosexual inclination are genetically determined, irresistible, and akin to innate traits like race, gender, and eye color, as well as anti-scientific bias which holds against all empirical evidence that homosexual behavior in particular and sexual promiscuity in general optimizes individual or public health. The next one is homosexuality is like homosexuality is like polygamy, adultery, and polyandry. Do you know what polyandry is? Anyone? It is the polygamy of, of women. It's when women have more than one husband. Polyandry. Yeah. We go home knowing a little more than we did when we woke up. And also that homosexuality is a public health risk. And sex also that sex is better after marriage. Okay. Having been married. I'm not going to be able to sign that pledge. Also, of course, that pornography should be banned, which, having been married, I'm not going to be able to sign that pledge. Uh, in any case, uh, there is a backwards component to, to America. You're going to see it in full force for the next year in this election. You're going to see the Republican uh, primary process is going to bring out all those hateful elements like Bob Vander Plaats. And, uh, you know, have at it. Uh, the more that we know that these people are representing um, these people, in other words, that the Republican candidates are representing people like Bob Vander Plaats, uh, I think the more comfortable we are, no matter what misgivings we have about this president. And they're not that big. And, uh, and yes, they are in the way he legislates occasionally, but his heart, I believe, is in the right place, especially when you put him up against any of these people and any of the people uh, that are their constituents.